Right guys, new knife. Again, it's all the way from America. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have uh, family over there that send me stuff. So, Holzman's Gorilla, you've probably seen them on Facebook or advertised somewhere. Uh, they're getting really popular. Uh, I do have a few of their knives. Again, I bought all my own stuff. Uh, no one sponsored me. Um, so, whatever I say about it is off my own back. So, I just want to show you what you get. You get a free gift card. You get an instruction booklet or a leaflet. It tells you how to sharpen your knife on a sharpening stone. And on the back of it, um, the other ways of sharpening it and cleaning it and maintaining it. Uh, they all come well packaged. Ta da! Right, so I'll tell you what you got here. Uh, the, normally the knife is in a plastic bag, but I took that out already. Uh, let me go to the sheath first. So the sheaths are Kydex. They are usually well made and clipped. This is the first time I'm handling this, by the way. Um, I just haven't had a chance to do much stuff lately. There you are, it's your little tech lock. So you put that in your belt. Nice little snap on that. Uh, comes with a ferro rod. This rod seems a bit thicker than the previous ones I've shown. If you haven't seen them, then please check out my uh, shorts. I think I put them on there a few months ago. Uh, nice micarta ferro rod. And you also get, so you can tell I haven't played with this stuff yet. You also get a little micarta striker. Show that off there. That logo on everything. Quite a thick, thick one. Nice corners on it. Nice size. Uh, you get a lanyard and then you get tools. So um, you can redo your um, Kydex if you didn't want this clip on there. If you, if you want to take off the ferro rod holder and stuff. So I do, what I do find is when you get one of these, they always include a tool and they make you modify or if you want to change up. So if you didn't want the striker on there and maybe you hook your ferro rod and striker onto this or whatever, or if you didn't want to carry that and make it lighter and you want to carry the ferro rod and striker around your neck or something like that. But they all do all that stuff. Um, this one here. You can tell again, my carter handle, very um, uh, thick. It's a very thick blade here. I'll find, I'll put, if I find any specs, I'll put them on the screen. Uh, handle's nice. This one in particular has a large palm swell here. Um, feels good in the hand, no problems. I don't feel any hot spots. You could choke up on this little recess here, which is nice. Um, I like it when the blade doesn't go into the handle because I can sharpen this a lot easier without this in the way. So you got a little bit there. Possible maybe spot for your ferro rod if the spine is not sharp enough. But I really don't need to do that in this knife because it comes with a striker. Um, space on the bottom. There you go, you could put a lanyard on there. Full tang, as you can see. You can see the palm swell there as well. So it looks good. I just need some time to test this. There it says D2 Steel on there. Logo as usual. Doesn't look clean. That's because it still has a little bit of oil on it. But this is brand new. Haven't used it. But I will use it and I will abuse it. Because um, I have so many knives now that I need to really start um, doing some harder tests. Uh, in the comments section, let me know what harder test you want me to do. I'm not going to start doing DPK stuff because they get that stuff for free and I actually buy all my stuff, so I don't really want to break anything. Um, have a nice bit here. I like that as well. So you can put your thumb on that. And it's a... Uh, see it there? Just there. Nice nice groove on that. It's a good, good feature on the handle. I like those. Yeah, so it feels good. Nice, you know, it's not a, it's a good medium-sized knife. I wouldn't say it's small, but very nice in the hand. Uh, like I said, you're going to see loads of these knives popping up everywhere. Um, he is on Facebook, um, Gorilla, Husband Gorilla Survival Group, and he has a couple other groups. Uh, check them out. 
and um, one of his groups, there's a paid membership uh, where they do discounts, uh, knives, um, freebies, giveaways, all kinds of stuff like that as well. Um, I'm not, I, I looked at it around, uh, particularly not for me, um, so I left that group. But um, like I said, all this stuff I paid for my own money. And I will have time to play for it, but just waiting for a better weather and a bit more free time. But let me know think in the comments section, guys. Oh, let me just, one more thing. I oh, don't run away yet. Hold on, two seconds, I forgot something. One of the main things. Okay. So, nice thumb ramp there, this whole side here. Clicks in place. I always check that before I put my knives away or when I get a new knife. Very, that ain't going nowhere, so you really don't even need this. So ideally, you could take this off if this is going to annoy you. Um, yeah, snaps on. But I mean, that, that ain't going anywhere at the moment. And that's how I look in the sheath. Um, also, with this on your belt, it, it's going to ride high enough where you can just grab it and pull it out. Unsnaps nicely. That's a really... Here, that's a really strong click. So, very nice. So I'll have to have a mid-ball play. I will play, guys, don't worry. Okay, so let me know in the comments section. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you next video. Bye.